Oh, okay. All right, guys. So we are learning Amadeus here, and I will tell you uh, what Amadeus is all about first. Amadeus is a global distribution system. This is a software uh, used by um, the major, uh, not major, but every minor and major travel agency. Selling Platform Connect. This is the web-based version of Amadeus. And earlier, the softwares were offline, but this is an online web-based, uh, browser-based uh, version of Amadeus, the GDS, Global Distribution System. So here we are on the, the front page of the Amadeus, and um, this is how the login screen looks like. This is the user ID, and this is the office ID, and this is my password to the system. Okay, so we do a sign on here, and we'll move to the next screen. So friends, here we are on the Amadeus uh, front screen, the, the, the command page, we call it the command page. And this is how the Amadeus screen looks like. So this is the command page one, and we can have more than one command page with like command page two, if I click here, the new button should uh, appear at this place. Uh, oh, not a problem. We'll see what error is that. And uh, oh, we're having some yes error. I'll try to reload this page and then see. So that was a network issue. My Wi Fi is not very good today. Oh. Okay. I'll try to reload it. We are back to the page and now login. So this is how we do sign on to Amadeus, and we are in the command page. This is working now. So as I was telling you that you can have one more, more than one command page, command page two, and this way you can have six command page at once. So let's get back to the command page one and let's begin with Amadeus. So uh, we will begin with Amadeus from uh, the, uh, the very basic, the scratch, the schedule command, or even before the schedule command, I would like you to know that uh, if you are a travel professional, you must learn all the codes. In case if you do not have learned the codes, and when you are on the Amadeus, you will need the codes, city codes, airline codes, airport codes, and it's full of codes actually. It's they're not very tough codes, they're very easy codes. So let's talk about the city codes, uh, encode and decode, how to encode a city. Suppose I need to 
know the airport code for New York. That's a very easy. Maybe most of the people knows it already. Still, that's just an example. So D A N is the command to encode. Okay, D A N, D A N, and you type New York, and it will give you all the airports in the New York. You see these the these airports. New York is the city, and JFK is the airport. C stands for city, A stands for airport. So New York City, JFK, John F. Kennedy, John Frank Kennedy International Airport, and then we have LaGuardia, LaGuardia International Airport, and then we have New York Liberty International Airports, and this is the code. EWR, that's Newark, New Jersey area. And uh, uh, LaGuardia is the LGA and JFK is John F. Kennedy. Now today, uh, the next is, uh, 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 one moment. now learn decoding an airport. Suppose we do not know that what EWR stands for. In decoding, and a code is DAC. Decode a code. Okay. Here we go. New Work Liberty International. EWR. And then we need to know about the airlines. Uh, suppose we want to check the code for Delta Airlines. So DNA. For the airlines, it remains encode and decode remains same. DNA is the command for both the encoding and decoding too. The DNA Delta and here you, here you go. And DNA suppose uh, United. You see UA and DNA. Uh, maybe ba british airways is the code for ba and let's see that uh, we need to know the airport the code of this airline the name of this airline so ba british airways this one two five is the three letter three um digit iata code and the, the every airline's ticket number begin with their perspective numeric code only Okay, so let's come back and let's learn about the schedule check. How to check the schedule of an airline? And PN, PN is the command for the schedules. And PN, suppose May 17th, JFK, May 17th. So ISO format will be 17th of May. TN 17th of May, uh, JFK to Sydney, and on Delta Airline. Let's see. So here we are. The schedule. This was the command that we entered in the system, and this is the response of that command. So May 17th, we we are, Delta is scheduled. Um, there is there are a few flights of Delta which are showing there so from jfk we have a daily flight which departs at uh the flight number is d uh, this is the flight number dl447 and this mean d means daily jfk john f kennedy departing and arriving at los angeles this is a one-stop flight uh, 1820 hours means 6 20 pm and 9 45 uh, 9, 2145 means 9:45 p.m. and connection in Los Angeles 76 W is the uh, the code of that plane that configuration of that plane uh, 76 W and then this flight is connecting to DL 041 Delta 041 that's again a daily flight from Los Angeles to Sydney and that departs um, 
at 22.30 hours and arrives two days later, 6.35. And that is uh, 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 the arriving 6.35 plus two means two days later. But the total flying time is 22 hours, 15 minutes. Why this is showing two days later? There is a catch behind this because we are flying only 22 hours and it is showing two days later. So I will tell you what is the reason. The reason behind this is then when we uh, that when we travel towards the east, we lose time. When we fly towards the east, we lose time. And when we fly towards the west, we gain time. So you can come back minus two day too. I've seen such a flights too. So this was and uh, now you see that we have delta 0 uh, 4, 4 to 8 and that is x6 means except Saturday. This flight is operating daily except Saturday. Uh, these uh, D means daily, 1 means Monday, 2 means Tuesday. This way, 6th day of the day week is Saturday. So that was all about this and now learn about the real LG, neutral real LG. AN. <coughs> AN. Neutral availability. The AN command. So May 17th. Again. 17th of May. Departure uh, from JFK and going to Sydney on particular airline Delta. And here is the same flight that we were looking at on the schedule. So let's see, let's pick up the lowest available. And here we are. We have um, selected one seat right now to book. And this is how the, the when we do the set, seat cell entry, this was SS1, Victor, Victor1, V means uh, v, v class, V class is an economy class, and uh, line number one, that's line number one, one seat class of booking, and this is the line number. So, okay, suppose we want to come back after 10 days. So 10 days later return is 27th. So we can do ACR 10 as well. We will automatically pick up the date 10 days later. The system is a little smart. You see, ACR was the command that we give into system and we simply added the number of days later we want to come back. So, and system automatically given us uh, the date. May 27th. So let's pick up, uh, let's do the same here SS1, Victor Victor 1, and let's see what do we have in our screen. RTIM, uh, right now you, you see that the flights and there were a lot of uh, other information too. RTIM is to show only the flight details. Now you see that we have the, uh, the the flights are easily visible to us all the flights all the four flights delta zero zero delta four four seven v v v is the we call it r v d reservation booking designator 17th of may and that's a sunday J, departing jfk going to la 1820 hours and 21.45 hours arriving LA. And then we have a connecting flight from LA, DL041. Uh, Victor is again, uh, the RBD is Victor here. And seventh day, LA to Sydney. And this HK1, HK1 means one seat confirmed. 2330. That's 10.30 p.m. and 6.35 plus two days later, you are arriving. So, 
Similarly, uh, we have the return flight from there, Delta 040, May 27th, and that's a Wednesday, number three, third day of the week. Sydney, 9.30 a.m., and LA, 6.15 a.m., very same day. The very same day, you departed 9.30 9.30 a.m. from there and you arrived 6.15 p.m. because you're gaining time when you travel towards the west and uh, then you have a connecting flight at 7.45 from Los Angeles going to JFK with Delta 1258 arriving uh, JFK the same day 16.20 means 4.20 p.m. So this was about the availability and this is how the, the first screen of your PMR should look like. Okay, so that is all about this chapter right now. So this was about the, we learned here, BAN to ENCODE. ENCODE any city, DAC to decode a code and then uh, we learn DNA to decode and encode the airline and then we learn schedule TN command and then we learn AN command so right now this is all about it and we will continue the next session with the PNR how to create a PNR. Stay connected.